Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started, okay? Because as you know, we always have quite a bit to do. So what we're working on today are number patterns, okay? And you've already done one lesson of number patterns, and you should have already done your assignment as well. And as you saw, this can be a little bit challenging. It can be a little bit difficult. But it's great because you are exercising your brain. And let me remind you, what we're doing is we're taking a look at these three numbers and we're trying to see what other numbers follow in the sequence, okay? <clears throat> Pardon me. So let me also remind you this, that sometimes we have to add, sometimes we have to subtract, sometimes we have to divide, sometimes we have to multiply, Sometimes they're increasing by a couple. Sometimes they're increasing by three. Sometimes they're decreasing by three, two, one. You know, there's so many different ways that we can arrive to the answers to these problems. You just have to kind of think about it and see what's going on with the first three numbers. Okay, so I'm going to help you out with the first three. How about that? So here we have 57, 52, 47. How did this 57 become a 52? Well, it got reduced by 5. How did this 52 become a 47? Well, it also got reduced by 5. So, if we're reducing by 5, we're taking away 5. So, the next number in the sequence would be 47 minus 5, and the answer there would be what? 42. Okay? So, now we, have four, now we have a 42 here. Let's subtract that by 5. 47 minus 5, I'm sorry, 42 minus 5 would be 37. So here we have a 37. Now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 37 by 5. 37 minus 5 would be 32. So that's the answer to those problems, okay? Now let's take a look at this one. Here we have 8, 16, and 24. How did this 8 become a 16? Well, I could multiply by 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Will 16 times 2 equals 24? No. 16 times 2 equals 32, so that's not going to be it. What's another way? 8 plus 8 equals 16. Will 16 plus 8 equal 24? Yes, it will. So, what we're doing here is we're adding 8. So, our next number in the sequence would be 24 plus 8. This would be 32. Now we have a 32 here. What's the next number in the sequence? We have to add 32 plus 8. 32 plus 8 is 40. Now, how do I get this number? We're going to add 40 plus 8. 40 plus 8 equals 48. Now let's take a look and see what happens here. Here we have a 1, a 4, and a 16. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. How did this 1 become a 4? Well, I could add 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. Is 4 plus 3 16? No way. 4 plus 3 is 7. So, what's another way? 1 times 4. 1 times 4 equals 4. Does 4 times 4 equal 16? Yes, it does. So the next one's going to be... 16 times 4. What is 16 times 4? Well, that is going to be 64. So now we have a 64 here. What is 64 times 4? That is going to be 256. So 256 goes there. And now we have to ask ourselves, what is 256 times 4? And that is going to be 1,024. So that's how we work these problems out, boys and girls, okay? I'm going to have you do the rest, and let's take a look at them, okay? So here we have 11, 22, 33, and we have to figure out these numbers. Now we have 97, 90, and 83. we got to figure out the rest. Here we have 2, 6, 18. we got to figure out these three. Now we have 120. 180, and we need to figure out the rest. 
Okay, we have a few more to do, so let's take a look. Here we have 7, 14, 21, and let's figure out the next two. Here we have 120, 60, 30, and let's figure out just that one. Here we have 10, 100, 1,000, and we got to figure out these three here. Okay, boys and girls? So, let me remind you that your parents have a PDF copy of this file. You can go ahead and print out page two so you can work these problems out. Or what you can do is you can have your parent just put the PDF on the computer screen and you can copy out the problems on a notebook and then work them out that way. It's really up to you how you want to do it. Now let me remind you, don't do all of them all at once. And you know what I mean by all of them is don't do all the pages on the PDF all at once. You've got 10 different pages to do. Don't do them all at once. You should have already done page one. Now you're going to do page two. And that's it. And just wait until the next lesson. Okay, boys and girls? Awesome. All right. So remember, please, if you need some more help, take a look at this video as often as you need to. Remember, your coach is here to help you. And you're an outstanding student. This is going to be a little bit tough. But because you're outstanding, you're going to put in the work. And you're going to do your very, very best. Okay? Parents. I want to thank you again for allowing me to help your child in the area of math. Boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at the next lesson. In the meantime, everyone, please take care. Bye-bye.